So much is fantasy. You know, if you're in a same-sex relationship, if you could take an egg, hoik out the DNA, pop a bit of both of you in there, have a strap on uterus and take control of growing your little person, my (laughs) God, it'd be so cheesy. It really would. That lack of emotional support from the get-go has an impact further down the line when relationships break down. You know, you've witnessed that time and time again. Yeah, and it's so damn hard. But I also see that in the relationships where it works and where it works really well, that that counselling support can be so useful because life carries on outside of surrogacy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This is the one thing that we did not listen to. This is the one thing we didn't appreciate. This is the one thing that had the biggest impact on our journey uh, for both of us on our relationship, but also on our relationship with our new children. I think you have to be real that it's going to be hard that it's going to be difficult, that you're going to need to promote awareness of self-care individually and together. Counselling with my surrogacy journey, my hope is it feels like a warm hug. And you can leave thinking, well, what was the point of that? Because it's like carrying an extra sweater on a cool day. You might well not need it, but you're glad you've got it. We're back every Monday, proudly supported and sponsored by Manchester Fertility, one of the top performing fertility clinics in the UK with some of the best success rates in the north of England. My Surrogacy Journey, available wherever you get your podcasts.